Hi, I'm Josh from Hayes Machinery and today I'm going to explain the features and benefits of the 16.5 RS Pro uh, DR chipper. Those of you that don't know, DR is an American brand. Um, they produce uh, homeowner and estate equipment such as uh, chippers like we have here, uh, field and brush mowers, uh, wheel trimmers, stump grinders and towed behind machinery as well. So this is the 16.5. As you can see, this is the towed unit. There is four models in the DR range for chippers. Start off with a small little tiny hopper fed machine um, and then a larger capacity 11.5 and then the 16.5 that you see here and then the 21 horsepower towed unit as well. This is fitted with the uh, 50 mil bull hitch designed for quad bike use. Um, obviously we towed it in on the quad bike just a moment ago but it comes as standard with the clevis pin. So if you've got a ride on mower, um, that, that fitment will work on the back of your machine as well. It's also got a handy little stand just on the back here. Um, again, so when you're towing, you can fold that stand up out of the way um, and it won't get in the way of any uh, rough areas you're gonna be driving upon. The 16.5 stands for the horsepower of the engine. So this is a 16.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, which is very powerful, uh, designed for obviously you know, commercial use um, or very demanding homeowner. Uh, the capacity chipping wise of this DR chipper is uh, 4.75 inches, uh, so nearly 5 inches worth of, uh, of wood. Uh, the large capacity hopper is also designed uh, so that you can put leafy and brush material in in one go so you don't have to strip the branches down, leave the, uh, the debris on the top and it will be gravity fed straight into the flywheel. So we'll now explain some of the key features with the DR chipper. We've got a large capacity hopper here. Like I say, it's designed to take up to about five inches of wood, both hard and soft wood. This is about the sort of size that you can actually feed into this chipper. The nice thing with the hopper, you've got loads, loads of room to be able to feed the material in. If you've got bushy material, uh, just feed it in the top. By the time you come back with your next branch, um, most of the material should have gone and you can just carry on feeding, so it's very efficient. Health and safety is the big thing. Uh, you've got safety protection here for any debris that might be flying back up. You've got a huge heavy flywheel here, which has got chipping blades on. And that generates um, air uh, power, uh, which has got a fan on it, which actually then um, pushes all the wood chippings out the funnel here. Um, and because it's articulated, which I'll show you in a second, means you can actually blow it into a trailer, onto garden borders, into the back of a truck or, or what have you. Right, so uh, servicing and uh, maintenance of the engine, very easy for the homeowner. Everything's accessible. You've got your fuel tank here, uh, which takes about five litres of petrol, so it'll give you a couple hours worth of chipping there. Um, air filter wise, Again, everything wants to be easy to access, and uh, DR have done it very well here. <clears throat> We've got a simple air filter. Just undo the two, uh, two wing nuts. Take your air filter out. It's actually a paper air filter element underneath that foam. And what you do with that is just get an air compressor, blow the, the debris out, and put the foam back on. The foam can be washed with hot, soapy water. And really, when, when it comes in for a service, it's just replacing that foam filter, so it keeps costs down. The other thing, obviously, you want to do is be able to check your oil easy. <clears throat> You've got an extended uh, oil tube dipstick here. And what you do with that, obviously, the machine wants to be level. Just undo the dipstick like so. And this one's already PDI'd, ready to go out the door. Um, but yeah, you've got two little notches on the dipstick and you just make sure the oil is up to the top level when it's cold. And just slide it back in again. Starting wise, again, nice and simple. You've got your on-off switch just there of the engine. Throttle control, you want to be cutting in full throttle all the time, um, but you've got an idle as well, so it keeps the, the noise down when you're um, you know, talking or what have you. Uh, you've got a fuel tap here, so you turn the fuel on to start it, and your choke is here, so we'll just push it on choke, put it on full throttle, and now we're ready to start. As you can see, all the DR products are built to a certain strength. Um, Americans know how to do it well. Massive great bearing support there, uh, which is easily greasable as well, so maintenance wise, easy to get to. So just make sure the on switch is on, put it on full throttle, pull out to choke, put the fuel on, and then we'll be ready to make it. 
This is the easily um, maneuverable hopper. So all you do is you just pull the, the uh, pin out here, which is in its transport position. You can then lock it in to whatever angle you want to be able to discharge the material at an angle. Uh, this hopper chute as well can also be deflected. Uh, so if you want to put it into a trailer or over a bank, then you've also got that as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, like I say, this is the Pro 16.5 uh, uh, DR chipper. If you've got any questions at all, please give us a ring. Alternatively, look at our website, hayesmachinery.co.uk. Many thanks.